Hello everyone, I'm Chill and welcome back to another one of my Rainbow Six videos. Today, we will be taking a look at Mira, the newly added Spanish GEO defense operator. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. In this episode of my detailed Rainbow Six Siege Guides, Mira, the new Spanish defense operator, will be our main topic for today. I've had quite a lot of fun and a success playing with Mira, and I think that she is really a great addition to the defending roster of operators. I think that her unique gadget allows her to completely change how defenders can effectively defend certain difficult objective rooms, like those objective rooms which were really hard to defend because of how small the rooms were or how awkward they were to defend. A good example for this is the children's room in house. Mira is a 1 speed and 3 armor operator and so she can actually take quite a few body hits and this fits together with a unique gadget to allow her to bunker up in a room effectively. She also has a really small hitbox in addition to her 3 armor status and so she might be a pain to kill from a distance as well. And so I think that she's a very strong defender. I don't know yet if she's a must pick in every round, only time will tell if she's a must pick or not. But either way, she is very strong and also very fun to play currently because she opens up a lot of possibilities when trying to defend some of the harder to defend objective rooms and I love that. In this operator guide, just like the other operator guides I have made previously, I will start off with introducing and discussing about Mira's unique gadget, the Black Mirror. Then, I will cover her weapons and secondary gadget choices before finally covering her playstyle and some of my tips on playing her effectively. And so without further ado, let's begin. First off, let's talk about her unique gadget, the Black Mirror. Basically, what the gadget does is that Mira can put a one-way mirror on any wall, reinforced or unreinforced, to safely allow Mira and her teammates to see through the mirror for incoming enemies from the other side. The mirror is bulletproof from both sides, so it is very safe to look through it if it is installed on the reinforced wall. There's a red gas canister below the mirror, and when it is destroyed, the mirror will fall down after a short delay, and a kill hole will remain for you or your enemies to shoot through. The gas canister can be destroyed by both teams, using their guns, or simply using the knife to mediate. And Twitch is a good counter to Mira's mirrors, because her drone can shoot the gas canister and take it out. Explosions from c or grenades, however, doesn't take out the gas canister. For attackers trying to take out the mirror completely, it will have to depend on the type of wall it is on. If it is on a reinforced wall, only Thermite's exothermic charge on the wall or Hibana's grenade launcher pellets will take it out. At least one or two of Hibana's pellets has to be on the mirror itself to take it out, so do take note. If it is on an unreinforced wall, in addition to Thermite and Hibana's gadgets, Ash's grenade launcher can take out the mirror and the wall it is on as well. Destroying the parts of the wall surrounding the mirror does the job as well, so using a sledge to hammer out the wall around the mirror, or taking a shotgun and shoot the areas around the mirror will take out the mirror completely as well, since it is technically not supported by anything anymore at that point. There are a few rules to putting up the mirror, when putting it up on reinforced walls, it can only be put on the side with the black and red panels, but not on the side with the crosses. If one wall is reinforced and the wall next to it is not, you cannot put a mirror in between the walls and you can only put it on the reinforced wall or the unreinforced wall. If they are both reinforced though, then you can go ahead and put it in the middle if you wish. The wall cannot be installed while prone, but it can be installed while you are crouched or standing up. And this allows the mirrors you place to have different elevations and can make for some interesting strategies on certain walls in certain maps. I will go into more tips and tricks as well as some good ideas to keep in mind when placing these walls later on in the video. And so that's about it about the functionalities of Mira's unique gadget. Now let's move on to talk about her weapons and gadget choices. Starting with the primary weapons, Mira can choose between a submachine gun and a shotgun. Pretty standard options for defenders. Her submachine gun is a TDI or Chris USA Vector and is known in-game as the Vector .45 ACP. The gun deals 23 damage per round, has a magazine capacity of 25 and a rate of fire of 1200 RPM. That's a crazy high amount of RPM. I mostly play with the Vector when I play with Mira and I really like the gun. The gun is really good even if you are less accurate because if you just aim somewhere around the chest area of the enemy, the crazy high RPM will most likely kill the enemy before he can do anything to you. If you have good accuracy, the first shot of the gun is usually accurate enough to get a hit shot right away even at longer distances. So I would say the gun is really powerful, the only downside to it is that because it fires so quickly, you'll find that you run out of ammo very quickly in a fight. And so there's a bit of balancing act that needs to be done when using the gun in a fight against more than one enemy. Moving on, Mira's primary shotgun is a Fabarm STF-12 pistol grip initial variant and is nicknamed ITA-12L in-game. 
It is a pump action shotgun with a base damage of 47 and an ammo capacity of 7. Just like Jacko, I have limited experience with the shotgun, but from what I can tell, it feels great to use, but it still doesn't feel as strong as most of the other shotguns in the game. And so to summarize on her primary weapons, I feel that Mira should be using her vector most of the time to fully make use of her unique gadget. Her black mirror allows her to gain valuable intel from the other side of the wall, and having the option to engage at longer distances is a huge plus. What's more, because she can also have a shotgun as her secondary weapon, which I'll get to soon, she can still reap most of the benefits of using a shotgun with her secondary weapon slot. Moving on, just like Jackal, Mira has access to the same two secondary weapons, a pistol and a shotgun. The shotgun is a STF-12 short initial variant and is nicknamed oh yeah. ITA-12S in-game. This shotgun has a high 66 base damage but can only pack a maximum of 5 rounds, including one in the chamber. The spread of this shotgun is much bigger than the other primary weapon variant and so it has a much shorter engagement range as well. I personally picked this shotgun as my secondary weapon over the pistol so that I have the option of opening up murder holes when I need to and it is especially handy to have a shotgun ready to make murder holes with since you'll be getting a lot of intel from those one-way mirrors as mirror. A nice trick is to sometimes put a mirror black mirror on a reinforced wall that's next to an unreinforced one and putting a few murder holes on the unreinforced one with the secondary shotgun. Once you see someone coming through the little window, move to the side and shoot at him or her through the murder hole for free and easy kills. On to a pistol, it is a Heckler & Coke USB Compact, otherwise known in game as the USB 40. It does 43 damage per round and has a magazine capacity of 12, so it's just a standard pistol in Siege. And so I highly recommend sticking with the shotgun as a secondary to complement her Vector SMG as a primary weapon, to fully utilize her kit. And so that's about it for Mira's weapons, now let's talk about her secondary gadgets. Mira has access to the C4 or the deployable shield gadgets, and I think that both gadgets have their uses. The C4 is really a very versatile and powerful gadget. It can be used to blow up holes to make pathways between bomb sites, set traps, take out unsuspecting enemies, and even deter enemies from entering through a certain doorway by simply placing it just above the door. That beeping noise is enough to make enemies hesitate running through carelessly. It is because of this versatility that the C4 is usually my preferred gadget. If you're not the type who likes to use the C4 gadget, the deployable shield is still a great choice since it allows you to bunker up in a room even more because of the added cover you get from hiding behind the shield. And so that's about it on Mira's weapons and gadgets. Now let us move on to a playstyle and some of my gameplay tips with Mira. My first tip for placing those black mirrors is to face them towards windows or doorways that lead into an adjacent room to the objective room. This is true if you have a large enough objective room to camp in. The reason for this is that attackers can only enter into the objective room in three ways, through a door from an adjacent room or hallway, through a window, or through a hatch. Mira can't do much about hatches with a gadget, so the best way to defend it is just to have a roamer reinforce it and defend it somehow. She can't do much about windows leading straight into the objective room either, other than to watch for people peeking from outside with a gun. And so the best way to make use of a gadget is to make sure no one enters the objective room from adjacent rooms or hallways. When you watch over windows or doorways leading into adjacent rooms, you're stopping enemies from entering adjacent rooms and hence from entering the objective room itself. The black mirror being there is in itself a very big deterrent already. The enemies can't see you but you can see them. If they don't immediately have a good way of taking it out, they shouldn't stay there and so the gadget is already serving its purpose and that is to delay the enemies. Any kills you get from having those valuable information from your black mirror are just added on bonuses. In smaller objective rooms like the children's room in house, you'd want to defend from other bigger adjacent rooms because you don't want everyone to be clumped up in one small room and just be taken out by one fuse charge so it is always best to defend from adjacent rooms. Having black mirrors overlooking into small objective rooms is pretty key here and makes defending these small objective rooms so much more tolerable. Using the children's room in house example again, you can defend from the closet in the master bedroom and the construction room. A good place for a black mirror in this case would be in the closet overlooking the children's room. If you and at least one other person control the master bedroom, it is a super strong position to be in. When putting black mirrors on reinforced outer walls, so that means those walls that lead directly outside, a good thing to keep in mind is to make sure you have at least a bandit or a mute to defend those walls properly. Otherwise, the black mirror will only delay enemies for a short while and it wouldn't be able to live up to its full potential. Though having said that, in certain objective rooms, it might still be the best to put them there to delay enemies for as long as possible, even without a bandit or a mute in the team. 
It really comes down to the situation, I suppose, but just good to keep in mind. Sometimes, it can be beneficial to put a black mirror a bit away from the objective room on a wall that's completely unreinforced. You can see in this clip that balcony is a popular place for attackers to attack from, and so putting this mirror here allowed me to effectively lock down a key area that attackers attack from, and even managed to get a few easy pickings to completely stop the enemy's push. Even though they could have played it much better there and chased me away with an ash grenade launcher, it's still a pretty good spot if you're fast enough to take out key enemy operators. There are likely to be spots similar to this in parts of other maps, so just experiment a little bit to find those nice spots. Another tip I have with placing those black mirrors is to put it on a reinforced wall that's right next to a door, and this gives you a good way of doing a quick peek and kill from the door when you see someone on the other side of the wall through your black mirror. In some rooms, this is not an option, and so sometimes leaving one of the walls unreinforced can be good for this purpose too. Though in this case, there might be a bit of guesswork when trying to shoot through the unreinforced wall, unless of course if you put in a few murder holes already with your shotgun beforehand. Be careful though when employing this tactic because it can be quite risky too, since after all you're giving the enemy an easy way to have more lines of sight into an objective room if you're not careful enough. Try to make sure that the unreinforced wall is not too important even if it is completely destroyed. And by this I mean when it is completely destroyed, enemies don't have clear lines of sight onto the good camping spots inside the objective room. Finding these good black mirror spots will come naturally with experimentation and map knowledge as well. So just experiment and find what works. If I find enough good ones, perhaps I'll make a video covering on some of the spots I like to use in my games. And so yeah. Mira is a really great addition to the defense roster like I mentioned, the awesome guns that she has, her C4, and most importantly her black mirror, really opens up a lot of options for the defenders in a lot of the previously unpopular objective rooms. She is also quickly becoming one of my favorite defense operator. She is that fun. And so yeah, that's about all I have to say about Mira, and I hope you found the video useful. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when my new videos are up. You can check out my Jekyll Guide too if you haven't already watched that. So I will try to finish the rest of my operator tips by CTU soon, and perhaps try to fit in some videos covering good black mirror spots, uh, Valkyrie camera spots, echo drone spots, those sort of stuff, and so make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, leave a comment below, and share this video with your friends. I greatly appreciate any and all support. And so until next time guys, have a great day, keep gaming, stay chill, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.